All right, so quick recap. Looks like I only had success with two of these, two out of five or six faucets. I was able to acquire Sepolia Testi and Alchemy is, that's my steady Freddy. Alchemy is very reliable. Alchemy is very reliable. Alchemy is very reliable. <laughs> Yo, what up fam? It's your boy, Big Walt, and I'm back from a long break. Today, I'm gonna to show you a number of places you can go to get Sepolia Testi. I need Sepolia Testi right now because I have a number of smart contracts that I need to migrate from the Gurley Test Network. As you are quite aware, Gurley has been deprecated. So I've been a little bit lazy and I need to do some migration, but before I can do any migration and before I can do any testing, I gotta get my hands on that most valuable test ETH. So let's go ahead and get right into it. All right, the first faucet I'm gonna tap into is the Alchemy faucet. This is pretty reliable. Uh, you can see it's already telling me that I'm an active Alchemy user. I, I don't believe that I've gotten any Sepolia ETH from Alchemy, but I've hit them up plenty to get all kinds of girly ETH. So I've already logged in, and that's one thing that is required for this faucet is you have to, to log in, which means you have to create an Alchemy account. Uh, and that that's what helps them uh, keep people from abusing the faucet. So anyway, I'm already logged in uh, and now I just need to enter my wallet address. So I'm going to go up here. Hello, where are you at? Uh, slow. All right. Looks like I'm connected to Gurley. Let me connect this to Sepolia MetaMask that is in copy my <clears throat> copy my address and pop that in here now send me some ETH well, gotta prove I'm not a robot all right I'm never good at these some of these joints be trick questions all right not a robot send me some ETH see that was painless it's a done deal And now, if I go check my wallet, what are we looking like? Oh, there it was. I have 0.01. Now I've got 0.51. All right. Looking pretty good. The next faucet I'm going to hit up is Infura. Uh, again, this is another one of those very reliable faucets. So there shouldn't be um, any problems here. Uh, I am going to paste in my wallet address I've already logged in which is a requirement paste in my wallet address click the button ah so here here's something that's really annoying to me um, I use certain wallets for my development that I don't even those wallets never even touch mainnet. I don't do anything with them on mainnet uh, because I keep a basically a firewall between um, any like real wallet that I use for financial uh, transactions and things that I use for development on test nets. And some of these faucets want you to have actual ETH on mainnet before they will issue you funds from their faucet which to me makes no sense whatsoever, especially given the gas fees associated with making a 0.001 ETH transaction. Uh, on the one hand, if you're just looking at the dollars and cents of it all, or the, or just the ETH of it all, the way, way, whatever you want to call it, um, you know, it doesn't make sense. But if that's the cost of doing business, just so that you can do your development work, then so be it. Um, I'm pretty comfortable with my process of keeping things air gapped. So I won't be, I won't be putting any real ETH in my, in my development wallets. So 
infuriates out. But that doesn't mean that you can't. Uh, the link to all of these faucets will be in the description of this video. So I'll, I'll be sure to share that with you. On to the next one. The next faucet that I'm going to try to hit up is this chain stack faucet. I've not hit it before, but uh, it looks like it's going to be good for half half of ETH every 24 hours. There's this one statement right here, though. If your balance is less than 0.5 ETH, the app will top it up to 0.5. I might have made a mistake because I hit Alchemy up first, and so I already have 0.51 in my primary dev wallet. So we'll we'll see if, if they'll give it to me or not. But let's uh, let's go find out. Looks like the same thing. Insufficient current balance. You need at least 0.006 ETH on mainnet to call the faucet. Again, I don't I don't understand the mentality behind this. I mean, I get it that they don't want people taking advantage of their faucet, but at the same time, from a security perspective, like I don't even I don't even create the conditions where I can switch back and forth between mainnet and a testnet with the wallet that actually has real ETH in it. And that prevents me from making any kind of mistakes. All my real ETH is somewhere else, again, totally air gapped. So the people who the people who are devising these schemes, I don't think that they're security conscious. I mean, they obviously are security conscious because they're securing their faucet, but they're not looking at it from the end user perspective. So that's a that's a fail on, on Chainstack. Again, I'll have all these links in the description of the video. Feel free to, to put 0.006 ETH in your dev wallet uh, to get uh, some Sepolia test ETH. Now I thought this was interesting. It's this website called Grab Teeth, basically Grab Test ETH. And it lets you claim 10 girly or Sepolia testy if you meet the qualifications or whatever. So uh, I've not done this before. I think it's a one time deal. So I'm going to go ahead and see if I can't claim some Sepolia testy. So I'm going to connect my wallet. Let's go straight MetaMask. Use my primary dev wallet. See what they say. I've definitely got girly ETH in there already. And hopefully that that qualifies me to get some Sepolia test ETH. 10 would be nice. Claim optional graffiti. Uh, Collect button, I guess. Oh, what's this about? Network is busy, gas prices are high, and estimates are less accurate. All right, that's cool, but what is it? Estimated fee. This much. All right, let's see. Let's see how we do. Although, why on earth am I paying gas fees to collect? Hmm. Well, it's just testy. If this thing drains my account, oh well.
the only reason why I'm trusting of this site is because I got the link off the primary Ethereum developer site. And I wouldn't think that that the Ethereum developer site would host a, a phishing or a scam site. So if it weren't for that, I would not have, I would not have executed that transaction. Give it some time. Oh, five block confirmation. So it's done. Transfer 10 ETH from this address to my address. So it was legit. I legit got 10, 10 Sepolia ETH. So if I go check out my Yep, so now I've got 10.50. If you recall, I had 0 0.51 Sapoli ETH. Now I've got 10.50 because of the transaction fee associated with interacting with that smart contract. So that was pretty cool. Um, pleased by that. So that was the, let me just make sure I keep a reference to this transaction. Not that I can't go get it <clears throat> from my wallet, but that was the grab teeth that X, Y, Z. So, um, so yeah, it's cool. That'll, that'll give a nice boost to, um, anyone looking to jumpstart their smart contract testing. Finally, I wanted to bring your attention to a couple more faucets that um, I'm not going to use, uh, for, uh, obvious reasons, but you may or may not want to use them. I just want to make you aware of them. So this, this, um, this quick note faucet is cool because it's a multi-chain faucet. So it's kind of like a one, a one-stop shop. But again, the wallet has to hold at least 0.001 ETH on mainnet in order for them to give you Sepolia test ETH. And I'm, I'm just not doing that. I'm not putting any real ETH in a wallet that I use for development. Um, it's just not going to happen, but it's a perfectly good faucet and you may uh, have a different, uh, security profile and this might be uh, good for you. So check it out if you want. The other one, um, I wanted to share with you is this sepolia proof of work faucet and this one as the name implies requires that you allow some compute from your pc uh to uh to mine um the actual sepolia so i mean from that perspective like why not just run your own node but Again, like I, I wouldn't run this. Um, uh, Ethereum is not even a proof of work network anymore. Sapoli is not proof of work. So I'm not sure what's going on with this. I haven't like explored like what they're actually doing on your computer for you to earn this Sapoli ETH, but I'm not interested in it. Uh, and I wouldn't necessarily recommend that you be interested in it, but this is for information purposes only. There is such a thing as a POW faucet for the Sepoli network. I guess the last thing I wanted to share, Coinbase's base blockchain, they've got some documentation that uh, lists a few faucets. Uh, some of the ones we already took a look at, there's a few on here that, that we haven't taken a look at. Anyway, I'm just sharing this for informational purposes, but uh, these faucets also uh, support base as well. So yeah, do, do with, do with that information as you, as you will. But I just want to make sure I'm being a little bit comprehensive in the information that I'm sharing about these faucets. So before we get started, I actually want to draw your attention to a couple of resources. Um, one of which is the Ethereum 
developer website. And specifically, there's a page that articulates the various networks that you can use. So I want us to go down and look at the resources that they share as it relates to Sepolia. So um, I'll have the URL in this, the description of the video. You can go check that out um, at your leisure. But if you ever get lost or you, if you ever like, you know, can't remember where resource is, this is a great place to go um, and find them. Um, the other resource I'd like to draw your attention to is the actual Sepolia um, website. Uh, it's it's not quite as useful um, and it doesn't have quite the level of tooling that the girly uh, website had, but um, you know, it is what it is. Uh, this faucet link rarely works. Uh, you may have better luck than I. Uh, and the the block explorer, it's basically ether scan for Sepolia, but that's uh, that's available uh, to you. So anyway, um, that be that, now let's go ahead and, and get down to the business of getting some test ETH from the various faucets that are available. All right, so quick recap. Looks like I only had success with two of these, two out of five or six faucets. I was able to acquire Sepolia test ETH and Alchemy is, that's my steady Freddy. Alchemy is very reliable, um, doesn't require me to have mainnet ETH to get test ETH. Um, so uh, the good news, though, is that I can keep coming back to Alchemy every 24 hours um, and I'll do that to acquire more so that I'll have plenty for all of my testing efforts. The other uh, faucet that I had success with was this uh, grab teeth site. I think that was a one and done. I don't think I can collect here anymore. I think it's a, uh, a one time they have their method for determining whether or not you're eligible. And then if you are eligible, the smart contract grants you 10 Sepolia testing. So I was able to do that. So anyway, that's it. Um, these are resources that you can use to support your test efforts uh, and hopefully it was helpful and I will see you in the next video. Holla.